right back again to this homework average test average thing. Um, basically, I took a list of all the homeworks uh, averages in the class and a bunch of test averages, and I made a model out of it. I looked quick. I made a scatter plot and saw it was positive. It was linear. So I made a model. I calculated. Uh, I got the R of 0.75, which is pretty cool. And I made this model, and I got this equation. And I found that um, the y-intercept was 10, and the slope was 1.2. So every point you go up in your homework average, your test score goes up about 1.2. This time, I'm going to talk about residuals, what they mean. So basically, what a residual is is simply your vertical distance, vertical distance to the line. It's your residual. Because think about it like this, like residual, residue, like you eat a, you eat like leave like residue behind, like you eat a burger, you're like, mm -hmm. and then and like stuff drip grease and like ketchup and like half a pick, like a little pickle bite fell out of your mouth. It's like residue on the plate. So like what's left over after you did you ate your burger? <laughs> well, residuals are similar. It's kind of like what's left over after the model did its work. So the model does work. The model goes in and makes this prediction. The model says, oh, for this x value, I predict this. Well, what's left over, suppose the actual value is here. Boop. This little bit was like the residue. It's like what's left over after the model. It's the stuff the model doesn't quite know about. It's, it's that scatter that we don't know. It's the unexplained, the residuals. So the residuals simply are these little distances, vertical distances. All these little distances. Wee, wee, wee. Well, no, sorry. We the distances to the uh, LSRL, the least squared regression line. So we're going to calculate some residuals, and then we're going to use a residual to actually find an actual point. So we got a couple people here, Tom and Will. Tom had a homework average of 40 and a test average of 65. Let's find his residual. Well, remember, we're talking about this, dis this, diff this distance. So what this distance really is, is what did he actually get and what did the model predict? That difference between what actually happened and what the model said was going to happen is the residual, right? So we actually write it like this. Residual is simply A minus P. Actual minus predicted. A, P. Kind of like this class. A, P. Statistics. Actual minus predicted, so the actual Y minus the little hat predicted Y. So let's see. Well, we know Tom had a 40 was his X, and if I put 40 into the model, I go up to here and I go, whoop, what does the model say he's going to get? Well, let's see. I put 40 into the model. 1.2 times 40 is 140, 40 plus 48. 48 plus 10, the model says, the Y hat says that Tom should get a 58. That's what it says Tom should get. What did Tom actually get? He's up here. He got his actual was a 65. Ah, that's what he actually got. This little distance right here is the residual. We find it by doing actual, 65, minus what was predicted by the model, 58. 65 minus 58 gives Tom a residual of 7, positive 7. His actual minus predicted, his 65 minus 58, is positive 7. He has a positive residual because he's above the line. Notice, if there's a positive residual, he did better than the model was predicting. The model under predicted Tom's score. The model was under Tom's score, under predicted. Now let's look at Will. Bye Tom and all of your information. Will, how'd you do buddy? Let's see. Well, Will did much better than Tom in homework. So let's see, Will did 70% of his homework. He had a homework average of 70. Sweet, 70. And let's see what the Y, the predicted Y is based on the model. I put 70 into 1.2. 1.2 times 70 is 70 plus 20% to 84, I think, yeah. 
84 plus 10 is 94. The model says 94. That's what's predicted. So Will, the model says, should have a 94 test average. However, Will was down here. Oh. Will actually had just an 82. Oh, Will. Not bad. That was a good test average. Will, come on, keep your head up. Now, Will had an 82. What's his residual? Well, again, it's this. You can see it's below the line. It's going to be negative. It's always actual minus predicted. It's just not top minus the bottom. It's not this minus this. It's actual minus what was predicted. It's 82 minus 94. 82 minus 94. 82 minus 94. That's tough. Let me think. Oh, if I go down, hold on, hold on. negative 12. Notice he has a negative residual. Will had a negative residual, which means he's, he scored below what the model would predict. He was below it, which means the model over-predicted Will. Does that make sense? Over-predicted him. Now, the other problem you might see on your test is, oh, uh, you know, another kid came in, uh, let's say his name uh, is, hold on, let me get this, Joe. Joe came in, he had a residual of negative 8. This is Joe's residual. He had a residual of negative 8. His homework average was a 60. That's his homework average. What was his test average? Things are falling around here. What was his test average if his residual is negative 8? Well, that's weird. I know that, um, I know that A minus P, actual minus predicted, equals resid. So here I know his residual is negative 8. I know, I'm trying to find his actual, oh, I need to find his predicted. Well, I know his homework average was 60. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in 60 into the model, boop, see what comes out. So let's see what comes out when I put 60 into the model. 1.2 times 60. Let's see what Y hat it gives me. Let's find out. 1.2 times 60. Well, 160 is uh, 60, 60. 0.260 is 12. 72. 72 plus 10. And the model says 82. That's what the model says he should have. So, what, what did he actually have? Well, the model says 82. You know he's 8 below that, down 8. So, if I go from 82 down 8, that'll be his actual score. 82 minus 8 is. 2, and then you have to go 6 below that, it's, uh, 74, I'm guessing. But if I do it out like this, I have actual, I don't know, minus my predicted, which was 82, has to equal negative 8. I simply add 82 to both sides, and I get actual is 82, 74, which is what we said. So, given a residual, and then you give an x value, you plug that x value in, get a predicted. So, you have the predicted, and you have the residual, you just need to solve for actual. So, in this problem, notice um, we have this formula y minus y bar equals resid. Okay? You're a given resid. You could find predicted, and you could just solve for the y you're looking for, his actual. Okay, so remember that. The vertical distance is the residual. So hopefully that clears things up for you, and good luck. Go get them.